So this is the next question we have. The hottest region of Bunsen flame shown in the figure below is. So we have four region, region two, region three, region four and region one. जो कि यहाँ shown है. That is region one. This is region two. This is region three and this is region four. So in all these region, region two is the hottest region. So the correct answer for this question is option number one. Now let us move to the next question, which says. Which of the following is an anionic detergent? The first option is sodium lauryl sulfate. Second option is cetyl methyl ammonium bromide. The third option is glyceryl oleate, and the fourth option is sodium stearate. In this question, the first option, sodium lauryl sulfate, is an anionic detergent. The second option, cetyl methyl ammonium bromide, it is a cationic surfactant. The third option, glyceryl oleate, is an oil. And the fourth option, sodium stearate, it is a soap. So in the question it is asked, which one is the anionic detergent? And the correct answer is option number one. Now let us move to the next question. So this is the next question. 18 gram of glucose C6H12O6 is added to 178.2 gram of water. The vapor pressure of water in tor for this aqueous solution is. The first option is 76. Second option 752.4. Third option is 759.0, and the fourth option is 7.6. So, how can we solve this question? This question belongs to relative lowering in vapor pressure, and then we know relative lowering in vapor pressure is equals to the mole fraction. So, I have represented P not A as the Vapor pressure of pure solvent, P S is the vapor pressure of solution, and chi B represents the mole fraction of solute. So P not A for water is 760 torrs. P S is unknown, and P not A is again 760. This is equals to chi B, which is mole fraction, and then we know mole fraction is number of moles of solute divided by number of moles of solution, and we have 18 gram of glucose, so number of moles of solute will be. 18 by 180 divided by number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solvent, which is 178.2 divided by 18. 18 is the molar mass of solvent. That is water. Molar mass of water. So we can solve this equation to get the result, and the value of PS comes out 752.4 torr. So the correct answer for this question is option number two, which is 752.4 torr. Now let us move to the next question. The question says the distillation technique most suited for separating glycerol from spent lye in the soap industry is. The first option is fractional distillation. The second option is steam distillation. The third option is distillation under reduced pressure, and the fourth option is simple distillation. We know glycerol decomposes before. Its boiling point at one atmospheric pressure, so the pressure should be reduced while separating these two. So the correct option, this question is option number three. So we'll have to use distillation under reduced pressure for separating glycerol from spent lye. Now let us move to the next question.